Welcome back to Bougie Bravo Bitches, where we talk all that Bravo tea from basic to bougie. We're your hosts. I'm Jenna. Darcy. And I'm Amanda. Let's get into it, bitch. Hey, you little baby back bitches. <laughs> baby back hey, bitches? Hey, I haven't hey, heard that hey. in years. I know. I love that. How are you guys? It's Thursday. You know. Jersey Day, if you're into that. GTL. You know I am. I feel like I have like a phone sex operator thing going. Right I'm very now. raspy today. I I've like, I've had a little cough, so. I love that. It's like when Phoebe um, got like sick <laughs> and then sticky shoes was so much better. It's a melica. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. How are you girlies? Good. Living it's the so- dream. One more week of maternity leave. Boo. Oh, boo. No work. All yeah. maternity. All the time. Summer. Tell her she can't go back. Summer girl. Um, We have a lot of shows going on right now. So many like two episode of nights. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. It's too much. It it's is like, a lot. And it's all good stuff too. Like it's not like yeah. stuff that's like, eh, I'll watch it later. It's like all yeah. stuff I, I want to see before I log into Instagram and I'm like bombarded by it anyways, you know? So I could do that. without one of them is not doing it for me. Which one, Darcy? Take a guess. Take a guess. The mm, low deck. Yup. Yeah. I will had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're you just love happy men to be too, here. actually. I'm. I'm. You, I know you love men, so I'm like. Surprised. Yeah, it's just not. We'll get into it. I'm not living up to the hype. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Um, let's get into some a little bit of news. Apparently, did you guys see that Alexia and Adriana were in a screaming match at the Miami airport? Did you guys read that on TMZ? I did read that, and I'm not surprised. They're both hot-headed Cubans. Um. I, Alexi is Cuban. I don't think Adriana is okay, Cuban. Yeah, I think well, they're both hot-headed Miamians. We'll say Venezuela, so. maybe. I don't remember. There you go. Let's um, go. W- uh, did you see what it was about? I didn't like read into it too much more because it was no. Just like, I eh, didn't see what it was shocking. about. I just thought that they were screaming at each other. So I and mean, like, was, like he, you said, he tried to break it up. So are they on like a cast trip? Was they're not? Are they like already filming their next season? It was or coming just- back from BravoCon. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh God, that's hysterical. Yeah, it doesn't seem like their friendship is going well. Even in this episode last night, it seems like it's just going to. I mean, are you shocked right that it's not going well? No, and I don't need it to go well because that's boring. So Same. keep fighting, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch you because you play fucking ha- patty cake. <laughs> in other Miami news, did you guys see Lisa Hochstein is creating an amicable divorce company called Splitwell. Yeah, what does that mean, a divorce company? I mean, I guess basically, like, it's going to help people, like, to divorce in a more, like, amicable and civil manner and, like, put, you know, you literally didn't their answer my question. First. You just reiterated the name. <laughs> That's what it means. I feel is like this, it's in the name, pal. Is this like the Joe Gorga being a lawyer in Arizona <laughs> type sense. deal? Like, I they, think are they it's therapists? Like, it's, like what, what's happening here? Are they just people who uh, are they? Mediators was mediators? what I gathered. Okay. I think. She's going to just hire mediators and pay for them because she's not a mediator. Well, I think yeah, she's no, she's not face. doing it. She's just like the face of the company. Okay, so there's probably investors and whatnot. She's People also would get divorced of... just to have her mediate <laughs> that <laughs> divorce. You guys, you know I bought an Aroma 360 for my house, which is like the scent diffuser that goes through your AC system, just so I could go to the store opening where she was because she is like You know what's so funny that you bring that up? Face. Mauricio, I was watching something and he's yeah. on a commercial and I was They're cracking on up. Oh my there's God. also the hotel collection, which is not Aroma 360. But it looks just like it, and that's like Scott Disick is on that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I love Aroma 360. It's the best thing I've ever bought for the. Oh my home. god! Doesn't your house just smell amazing? I can't wait to bump like fresh balsam through my house. I just ordered the fresh balsam. It should be here tomorrow. I'm gonna pick it up in stores. Maybe I'll see Lisa. I told her when we met her at BravoCon that I have an Aroma 360 because of her, and I love her. And she's like, I'm coming out with a fragrance soon. And I'm like, okay, Lisa, take it easy. I have enough of your products. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. So a few of our followers actually sent this to us. I love blind items. Thank you, followers. Um, Olivia and Austin were both seen going to the Bahamas, but there have been some pictures that were posted since then, and like they are there. But it looks like her new boo is also there. So 
Just yeah, like she posted. Portrait. She posted on her Instagram when your ex and your new boy have the same tea time, and they were all golfing together. Yeah, which is like weird, but it's Charleston. I feel like it's such a small it's town. So incestuous. It and is. I feel like they're young too, where that's like not. They are not young. They are the people. same age as us. No, they're not. Austin is a hundred percent. He actually I think might he's be older, older than you guys. Well, how old is Olivia? Olivia is probably a little younger. bit younger. Yeah. I'm looking she, it up. She might be 30. They're not like 20, though. No. Austin Kroll is like... That's like the cast of Southern Hospitality. They're young. Oh, well. That changes things. It up. Wiki, Which Wiki, will be coming out Wiki. soon. Southern Hospitality coming out yeah, soon. Yeah, I didn't watch oh. the first season. Mm-mm. You didn't know. Oh, he was you born in the same year. You, you guys were born when? 1988. You be careful was, with that. Yeah, what were you yeah, going to say, right. bitch? What were what you going to say? About to say? I was born in 1986. Name Relax. it. Name it. <laughs> name him. Name him. <laughs> name him. Name him. I, did you guys see the meme name, I made? Name him. I did. Name 1987. Name Austin was born in 1987. So he's a oh, year older than you guys. No, older. Older than you guys, me. younger than me, because I'm an old bitch. Hi, Summer. Hi, Summer, baby. Summer is here. I might have to meet. She's meet. always in Leopard. I love it. <laughs> Summer, you are a Jersey girl. Jersey girl. All the way. She's a bougie baby. I know. She's going to have a poof in no time. Can't wait. Uh, when's she going to get her first bump it? Oh, soon. Soon. When she gets God, a little. I love the bump it. Summer girl. Well, but you need to put hoops in there. She has uh, earrings. I there. got six you weeks. Can, six weeks. And then we, we're going to put in some big old diamonds. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. So Teresa and Tamara, you know how they had that like beef a while back, but then they kind of like squashed it or like Teresa really didn't pay attention to it. And Tamara kind of said that, no, I like take it back. I actually really like respect her as like a house, like an OG housewife, blah, blah, blah. Well, apparently they have beef again. And Teresa called Tamara a sugar mama and said that she opened her gym just so that her trainer, Eddie, would have a place to work. That is <laughs> Teresa. You go, bitch. You I go. I think that's hysterical because, like, I never even, like, would have thought that, but it makes complete sense. It makes complete sense. And I'm that's here hilarious. For I actually can't believe Teresa said that. Like, she's intelligent I mean, she, enough Someone to come fed her that. that. She didn't okay. say that. Yeah. Okay. Like, someone fed her that for sure. She, like, read it on so Reddit, funny. which is where yeah. I get all my shit. It's like when she did that thing on her podcast that she's like, I got married on the show. I got divorced on the show. I went to jail on the show. Like she didn't make that up. Okay, no way. Okay. Someone wrote no. that for her. But I love that for her. That she has people that would write her stuff just so she could sound cool. Hmm? Well, did you see Tamara was posting pictures with her and Melissa? Oh, of course oh, she was. Shocker. Melissa, it, I'm not surprised. You know what? There was a picture of all of them with Tamara and Teresa were in it too. Because um, I noticed that Teresa wasn't really in a lot of group shots, but then like because she didn't stay where they all stayed. She stayed at the Bellagio. Yeah. And she was more with, like, Jen and then, like, Caroline Stansberry. Yeah. Well, Interesting. Bougie. You know, I think OG recognize OG Caroline Real recognize real. Ladies of London, RIP to that lady from the first season. Um, Real Housewives, did you guys watch Ladies of London? I did. I did. No. And I just <sighs> RIP. Yeah. RIP. Yeah. To that girl. She was, what was she? Um, Alexander McQueen's friend? Yeah, like, best friend. I can't remember her name. It's so good, Darcy. It's only like three seasons. If you have time to put it on your list, you should go back and watch it. It's still on like Peacock today. My <laughs> list like, is <laughs> ever growing. Like- <laughs> if you really want to get to know the evolution of Caroline Stansberry before she moved to Dubai, you must watch. All right. She actually had a really like a really like lucrative company. It was called like Gift hmm. Library, and she used to. I feel like I was just talking about this or something. It was gift library, and she would source like really expensive gifts for people, like Rolexes and cars, and like mm-hmm. some, you know, rare books, rare books, mm. <laughs> stuff like that. Tell me more. I made that up, but oh. yeah, mostly like diamonds and Rolexes. Anyways, Salt Lake City reunion is filming later this month, which the month is almost over, so it's got to be pretty soon. So I'm tweeting Andy. I'm show. tweeting Andy the yes. craziest questions. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Side note. Not Salt Lake related, but did you see Andy announced that Kathy and Paris are going to be on Watch What Happens Live coming up soon? Oh, I love when oh, they're on Oh, there it. must be a new season of Paris and Love coming out then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love Which when is the on rumor it. of why Kathy didn't re-sign because she was too busy filming Paris and Love. Mm-hmm. I- Hmm. I feel bad for Paris. People are making fun of her kid's head size. I know. That's so it's like, oh my God, well, I mean, off. It's a baby. I know. People are so crazy. The internet is wild, though. You have to be tough. People are wild. You have yeah. to be tough like, or you just, you're going to get eaten trolls. alive out there. Trolls. 
Okay, Amanda, Kim and Corey news. Oh, my God. You guys, I need to get off the train, I think. I think I need to get off the train. I don't know. I mean, they went out 11-11. Speaking of 11-11, Tinsley got married, which... She did. She did. She got married. No, it was 11-11, it said, Friday. I just read it on Us Weekly. Saturday the 12th. Okay, whatever. I messed up. I thought it was the 11th. (laughs) Anyway, I was like another 11 marriage. Okay. Anyway, Kim and Croy. Oh, no, you're right. It was, but it was Saturday 11. Yeah, Saturday 11 11. Okay. We were both right. So they went out, Kim and Croy, back to them, went out for their anniversary, and she changed her name back to Beerman on Instagram. Yeah. What, what happened? Doing? I don't know. They got to keep the house. They're still in the house. So, like, I don't know if she's sold enough to pay off the. I don't. I got to get off, guys, I think. No, you have to stay on. <laughs> well, the thing is, is like you're the only one still riding it in America. So if you get off, they are not relevant anymore. So you better stay on. All right, I'm going to stay on. I, keep, I stalk her Instagram. and so It's just like wild. I don't know. I mm. I feel like they're trolling us. I'll be honest. Because she they did are. just post like mm-hmm. somebody was like, what's in the future? And she posted like um a picture of a camera. So I don't know. Are they filming again? Like, was this them trying to get a show? She well, she's on, only she's doing this to real life. So there is like, she is. Oh, okay. Really. Okay. But they think that already filmed. It um, did. Yeah. And I, I so she missed her court date. I'm, I've never, not really wasn't into it when it was on uh, 20 years ago when it was cool. And I don't know that I'm going to be into it now. But Oh, I'm not going to watch it. I'm more into okay. House of Villains, which is hilarious. I love I House of Villains. Oh, oh my God. God it's so, so good. I'm All actually right, well, mad that they got me. Oh, you want me to I tell know. You? I was just going to spoil it. But yeah, you want me to spoil no, New York. it? New York's no. out. No. All right. No. <laughs> Sorry. No. Sorry. I didn't say it. <laughs> Sorry. There was a lag. Sorry. She's still in. That's not nice. I didn't. I thought you were saying yes. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it for news. Unless you guys saw anything else. All okay, shows just... are playing next week, except for Southern Charm on Thanksgiving Day. So they need enjoy to your one night break. I we need we a break. break. I'm like, when am I gonna watch these Wednesday night shows? I gotta cook. Are you nuts? Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Bravo. You never sleep, and we won't either. We appreciate it. Let's talk about Southern Charm. So this will be, I guess, the last episode we talk about. Oh, no, it'll be on tomorrow. and Tonight. And then tonight. it will be on next week. I don't know what day it is anymore. And I, don't I don't either. I'm like, what was. day, what year, what planet am I on? This is last week's episode of Southern Charm, which was them still in the mountains. And kind of that was kind of boring me, but... When like, the last Craig, 15 minutes, it escalated good. very quickly. When Craig came out talking about the space people and making everyone wear tinfoil hats yep. and, and little Craig was wearing a tinfoil like a diaper, then I was dying <laughs> from there. I was hooked after that. When Craig's, he was like, we can't call them aliens. That's derogatory. I, I was dying. dying. Space people. That was so funny. I've never heard him talk about any of these like conspiracy theories before, but he is definitely into it. Are you guys conspiracy theorists? I like fun ones like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't think we landed on the moon. I got to throw it out there. I'm very – I don't think we did. I don't. Okay. I can go down a rabbit hole, but mine is more like government stuff, like government conspiracies, like population control, and like they introduced like the HIV virus into the world for population control and stuff like that. That is, that's, those are my like more conspiracy theories. We're all and like the, the map, and like the NFL is rigged. Like those are like the NFL is also like rigged by the, the government. NFL is rigged. I sometimes yeah. question that. Yeah, it is. Like they already know who's gonna. It's like who they pick who's gonna win at the beginning of the year. Like all of a sudden they make mm-hmm. these magical catches. Like it's all fake. Wrestling is more real than the NFL. The WWE Ooh, is more real statement. than the NFL. Bold fucking statement. I know. I know. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, we all are to some degree, aren't we? Aren't we? I just watched a lot of Unsolved Mysteries as a child. Oh, I used to love that show. I still watch it as an adult. It's like a nighttime show. Mm. Um, So Olivia goes over to Taylor's family's house, which was like super uncomfy. And Ben was basically like, I don't think I can be friends with you and leaves. Like, I don't know what the point of that was. To yeah, film. that was like re- to film. You're right. Yeah. Actually, I was gonna say right. that was weird, but yeah, to film. It was like awkward. She's like, mm, just gonna go, and her mom and dad were there. I'm like, okay. 
Hey. Well, especially because she brought all of her like bags and luggage she in did. with her. She did. The dad she's was like, like helping the carry all the bags. Now. <laughs> and then she's like <laughs> here for an hour, and she's like, mm, I got a dip. Maybe she thought she dipped it would feel better, and it just like she just wasn't feeling it. I don't know. It was so weird. It was weird. Okay, I died when old Shep came out and t- he told Taylor that cheating was fun. <laughs> <laughs> he said, honestly, sometimes it was. Well, I'm just sick of her fucking bringing it up. Like, shut you know, up. No, like, get over. And then, up. you know what? You're not, you're going to go lay in bed. You're going to go sleep in bed with him and do, you, I, I think he was too drunk to hook up. I don't think they hooked up. But, He's like, you're going to. He's kissing Banda. So okay, so cares. maybe they made out last night and then he just passed out. But, like, yeah. you know, like have some self-respect, Taylor. I at actually, this point in your life, have some self-respect. I kind of think he wouldn't have sex with her because she would go stage five clinger. So mm-hmm. I, I think that he wouldn't sleep with her. But, yeah, it's like, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? And stop bringing it up. Like, you know who you dated. Like, don't expect that he was going to be different. Like, you were going to be the fucking savior to change him. The one to change it. And they never would have stayed together as long as they did if COVID never happened. Yeah. Agreed. That's Never would have stayed together. Okay. Uh, I agree. Also, the other uncomfy thing was Rod trying to be exclusive with Olivia. Oh, oh Chris. Bro, read the it. room. I had to fast forward. I couldn't take read it. Read the so room. Such inappropriate timing. Like, she's going through it. Summer doesn't like it either. She's uh-uh. like, cringe. It was, it was so weird. It was, it was bad. So it was like, how do I lock this down so she doesn't ever leave her bra anywhere else again? <laughs> <laughs> I did love Olivia opening the door, seeing Taylor in bed with Shep, and then immediately sprinting upstairs to go tell Craig and Austin. I know. I'm just like, how do, like, I asked myself, how do we go from wine throwing to sleeping together? But honestly, we've all been there, right? I've definitely been there. I think it's definitely to, like, just strong emotions, so, and a lot of alcohol. I've definitely been at, like, almost fist fight to, like, okay, let's hook up now. (laughs) There's a thin line between love and hate. That's true. That's I think true. I got that one right too. So well, we'll see what happens tonight. I'm gonna need Madison. Yeah, back. the opposite of love is not hate; it's indifference. Mm, thank you, Edgar thank you, Allen Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Martin Luther King. <laughs> I don't know who says that. I don't oh know who says God. it either. I've just heard it before. What's Edgar Allan Poe? The Raven. Never, Never more. more. Never more. Um, okay, Potomac. Let's get into some Potomac. I love me some Potomac. I really do. It, it's like just mm-hmm. so good, fun, easy, light shade, light shade. And I like it. It's a shady it's Sunday between Potomac and Married to Mad. It is a shady Sunday. Um, why did we go to Pilates? <laughs> it was so weird. So the because- editors could do their little weird aerobics 80s. 80- video edit i know and it also wait, because karen found out that she had five percent calcium in her blo- body <laughs> what? to was, prevent something i don't it know was weird so ashley could show off that's why we went to pilates um demi we got and diamond demi and diamond yeah um do you guys think those were sponsored by michael darby yeah mm, i don't know because she yeah. makes money from the show so yeah hmm question mark question mark oh we got introduced to NECA what did you guys think of NECA I like her oh I like her I feel like she's a go for Wendy thanks to Ashley so I'm kind of here for it because I'm not a huge Wendy fan I'm not a Wendy fan period and I'm into it and let's go I'm into it but Ashley in true Ashley Darby form totally fucking stirred the pot and like Mm -hmm. made that even the producers were like that's not how she said it. She's like, oh, that must just be how I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Okay, I don't need a Wendy talk show. I don't need it. I certainly don't. I don't need don't. wine with Wendy. I don't need Zen when. She, I don't she need has it. nothing else going on. She just, like, makes shit up for each season. Like, you need a different storyline. Like, I don't know. Like, go after Ashley or something. Like, make that your storyline. I know. Do something. This, get off the show, actually. I feel like we're replacing her with NECA. This is like NECA's tryout to replace her. Mm. We don't need eight women on a Housewife series. It's too many. When they like did like the cast shot, I was like, holy shit, there's a lot of them. There's like, There's eight. a lot. I think there was like an eight person Beverly Hills once and it's just like too many. Like that's why even like Miami, even though like they're friends of are a little more main, actually now mm-hmm. that they're on Bravo, they're not, but they were now like you can recognize the difference between the friends of and the actual mains. Cause it was like nine people that you were following. It was too many. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Deborah, the Sesame Street character, came over. So With horror that was, music in the I background would not when she have, appeared. I lost it. I would not have the confidence to show my face on TV again. Absolutely no. not. No. Not after she, the internet ripped me apart like that. She kind of does look like a Sesame Street character, too. She's, something's wrong with her face. I don't know what it is. Like fetal alcohol syndrome? Something's wrong. She oh. looks weird. Oh, yeah. wow. No, like okay. there's like some, there's things. I was serious. aggressive. No, it's not. This is like my field. But like, I like there's something misaligned with her. Like, that's how you can tell like an FAS face because there are like misalignments in like the placement of like eyes and nose and mouth and stuff like that. Something's off. Hmm. Something's off. I bet her mom's a drunk. Anyways. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Well, how else do you get fetal alcohol syndrome? Hello? But now we said it. Oh my gosh. gosh. Good lord. Get off me, ladies. It's lordy lordy. Day. It's just my professional opinion. Take it or leave it. Um, right. The other thing I was going to say is Candace, Candace, Candace shading Drew. Okay. I don't love Yo. Drew, but like, are you fucking kidding me? You're singing at City Wine Cellar. Like, that's your tour, and you're going to shade Drew. Like, she actually has like real, like, acting skills and singing skills yeah like, i was gonna nuts. say i don't like drew but candace come on i know i think she she's just drew. nervous drew is gonna outshine her mm-hmm. she did um, just... I, I don't i don't care for either one of them but like drew actually has like an imdb like candace is a nobody and your your <laughs> grammy was getting a bravo <laughs> good for you <laughs> Candy, you're girl. going in hard on the candy girl hate just so we don't mess with you in the group. Oh, chat. shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm being gonna... firm. So Jenna is a big I got, fan. I literally got a Candace. Candace passed out merch if you took a picture with her at BravoCon, and the shirt was like, What did it say? Not today, neck, like that. Her that whole saying, and she passed out merch. And I was wearing the shirt because it's a nice, oversized shirt, and it was comfortable. And it happened to be Potomac night. So I posted it. And now everyone thinks I'm an undercover candy lover. And I'm not. <laughs> I I'm thought you were going to leave the group chat that day. And we made her mad. <laughs> I was mad. I said you guys are fucking lame. <laughs> I was mad. I was mad. All right. Did you guys watch Married Mad? Sure did. Loves it. Do you love yes. it? I love it. I love it. It's, it's such good. good shade, isn't it? It's just well-rounded, healthy shade. He loves it. Um, so we learned that Miss Quad did have a DUI, but she claims it has been resolved. Guess we'll find out. It's public, uh, yep. public knowledge. I mean, that must be how Toya found out about it. And then we go over, well, we're at Phaedra's, and Benji the butler comes out. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Do you guys think that she really has a full-time butler, or was he, like, paid for the day? I think, no, I think she day. could probably have a full-time butler. I mean, it's like a nanny housekeeper. They're not, I mean, a lot of people have them. Maybe it's like a manny for her, like, yeah. children, because yeah. they're not super Or like old. a mother helper type thing. I mean, it's not that Maybe. crazy. Hmm. Maybe it's a mother's helper. Benji's I mean, they only child. range in our area from 10 to, tw- or 20 to $25 an hour, so. Oh, that's, that's nice. crazy. Oh, you think so? like an inexpensive yeah yeah oh yeah okay okay yeah yeah Yeah. um so sweet tea definitely got a lot of shade this episode which i thought was so funny phaedra said that in her wedding dress we are trying to give buttermilk biscuit not pancake (laughs) because her ass and then she wears the price tag on her freaking dress i think she forgot it i'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt that she just forgot to take i'm not she's returning that she is returning returning. that i'm gonna be honest with you if i forget that then i'm like oh good i can return it like so and i like can afford it i was gonna say the dress looked kind of cheap so like why bother returning It 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 looked like a rainbow special it did it did we went, so that was at Toya's wine tasting party. And actually, Amanda, now I remember when we saw her at BravoCon, she was like doing some kind of wine thing. But when Darcy and I just saw her at BravoCon, she was doing like skincare. Skincare. Or yeah, didn't we like drink someone's wine? Yeah, it was hers. That's why yeah, we went okay. in there. Because okay. we were like, we could use another glass of wine. Oh, hey, we'll take a picture. Yeah, I didn't know who it I was. Felt bad. I'm sorry. Because- I know. Actually, at this BravoCon, no one was waiting for her either because Teresa was right next to her and the mm. line to see Teresa was so long, you couldn't even tell that Toya was in her booth. Mm-hmm. But we were like eating lunch next to it and we were like, all right, well, let's throw this out and take a picture with her. 
And then we were like, can Dr. Eugene get in too? And they gave us a lot of free samples and that was it. Mm -hmm. Um, What do you guys make of like Phaedra going out to dinner with Dr. G? I mean, if they have a friendship and this is going to help facilitate our understanding of things, then I'm okay with it. I do love how she said I can see his egg head over there. So I'm good. <laughs> I didn't even hear that. That's so funny. I kind of feel like she was being a little messy as far as like and making sure he really wants to get married in like a week. It was messy. I mean, I'm here for it. Be oh, messy. I love the mess. I need the mess for sure. I mean, Phaedra is mess. She's nothing but yeah. mess. We need them all to get together because we need a little more explosiveness. So when Miss Quad comes around, it's about to go down. Let me tell you. A lot of them are around at our, like, bachelorette party, right? She Yes. She comes to tease bachelorette. Phaedra brings her. I love it. It's so weird. Honestly, it's so weird to me that all of a sudden everyone's, like, Dr. G's friend. Because Dr. G has been out of the picture for years, but Quad has been around. And now all of a sudden they're, like... And we're over quad. We're going back to being Dr. G's friend. It was, it's weird. Hmm. It's weird. All right. All right. Moving over to Monday. We have Darcy's favorite show, Below Deck Men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's boring. Okay. Sandy broke a wrist. Nobody Kyle's cares. Kyle's carrying this season. He is now. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't doing much the first couple episodes either. Yeah. But he's like crying meltdown. Oh my God. I was, <laughs> Panic attack. I posted his crying meltdown and I said me after one too many drinks or something and he wrote back and he goes i'm fucking screaming <laughs> i was dying too he's like are you just being dramatic like what is happening here that's what that's i would have so done i would be like yeah. what are you doing you need I to said, chill out i wrote back to him i said obsessed with you and he goes honestly same <laughs> <laughs> oh my god having a meltdown he's fighting with jessica but then okay so like the, at the end of the last episode, Natalia and Toomey were kind of fighting, and then they were like, fine, like, what is going on? Now they're, like, yeah. friends are in real life. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't understand. It's just weird. It's all weird. I don't understand. Did you guys think Sheffy was going to get fired for taking shots? I was going to be so mad if he got fired because we no. watched a whole season where what's her face drank, <laughs> and, like, Captain Jason was like, all right, whatever. Oh, Margo? Yeah. 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 Also, I felt like, okay, so Toomey was definitely going to tell on him. And I think if she told on him, he probably would have gone fired. But the fact that he went and told on himself, it was okay. Yeah, that's exactly. But it, when I Captain thought. Sandy was like, pack your shit, I was like, oh my God, no. It's yeah, I like, like, oh, like, that's so abrupt. Yeah. I know. She was like <laughs> aggressive, but it was just a joke. So. And then they go out to dinner, and then all of a sudden everyone's against Natalia. And I like, don't really know what happened there. They're all making out with the charter guests. Oh my god, that was oh, so wow. Laura, wild. Yeah. Laura, Laura I mean, yeah, with every like single one. Guests. Oh my god, too Good much for me. her. I mean, yeah, that was crazy. Me, but... That was crazy. It was a lot. Max made out with one. I don't know if you caught it in there. I put a mm-hmm. whole like collage together of all of the makeouts, and Max was just like one little tiny one in the corner with his tiny. lady. Well, well, that's what like kicked off like Kyle. And Max fighting, which then turned to Natalia trying to get involved, and then it turned to everybody directing their anger at her. Yeah. How how many episodes are we in now? Too many. We've done, we've had eight. (laughs) Darcy, you don't want double a night? We've had eight, which means we're like, not even half, we're like halfway through. They haven't done the mid-season trailer yet. Do they do those for Below Decks? Yeah. They do? Yeah. Hmm. I was trying to figure that out. Probably next week we'll get it. Yeah, probably next week. Anywho, okay, moving over to another one of our shows that we love. Oh my god, it um, just Real it, Houses of Baby Gorgeous. It I was mean, so like, <laughs> good. It was so good. I don't know if people, I, if you're not enjoying this, I don't know what to tell you. I, I mean, know. this is just as like, good as it's gonna get. I mean, it Lisa is, is unhinged, and I, I love saw it. Somebody posted that Real Housewives of Salt Lake City is like a Parks and Rec version of what. Real Housewives should be, and it's true. It's, true. it's, it's the so nail so good. It is it's so just good. like fun. The editing, the producing. I mean, it doesn't it's get fun. better than it's what ridiculous. is on this TV. I was the whole episode. I was cracking up. It's I mean, good. within the first five minutes, I was texting. I'm like, this episode is already fantastic. I, I was like, Emily Post, and you're like, just got there. <laughs> But she's like, Emily Post, who are you, Emily Post? Let me get you a copy. Don't be rude to your guests. Or like, don't make your guests feel uncomfortable. Oh I, she's like, we don't curse. 
We don't talk like that in front of our children. Our okay, children well, are I know. Our okay, children we don't are do here. that, but we do fucking naked twister with hot chocolate in front of them. You guys are weird. It's so good. And then the whole Mary scene with uh, Heather. I mean, oh my like, god! Why did she invite her over? Like, I don't even understand. She's that. Like, but she's her like, house you- is like a throw up clown house. She's it's like, her. Yeah, I know. It's so it's good. It's very chaotic. You called me inbred. Well, I do think you look inbred. Oh do you think I look inbred? I do. I do. <laughs> Other Actually, than that, though, it was a very pleasant conversation. I know. I'm it didn't through, go where I thought it would. I'm halfway through Bad Mormon. Probably it's good. Almost three quarters of the it's way good. through. Yeah. Can someone send it to me when you're done? Or did I you gotcha. read it? Do I you e-rated it. it. Oh. Yeah, I have it. You do? I think okay. so. Yeah, send it's it to me. Not, it's, it's, I'll it's, send you Brittany's book when I finish. It's oh, giving I already a bought lot it of inside Mormons. I've read like two chapters on the plane. As Amanda said, I would. I'm like, I'm going to read this on the plane to Va- BravoCon. Like, Amanda's you're like, you're going to read two chapters and fall yeah. asleep. I'm like, you're right. They're both easy, short reads. Like, I've either Yeah, I started reading Heather like yesterday. four hours. Yeah, I started it is an easy read. Yesterday. I'm like, done. But the Britney book also is like, I, I'm just like envisioning her voice reading it. Like, her mm-hmm. voice from like, um, what's that one movie that she was in? Crossroads. She, Crossroads. Yes. Like, I'm envisioning that person reading the book and it's like <laughs> making it hard for me. That's every time like I hear, I'm reading Heather's book, I hear her voice and I'm like, well, this is wild. I can picture her saying that. So weird. I want to, she, what, if you do the audio, I bet she is reading it. Probably. Um. Okay. So LD brings the car back as a gift. Oh my God. And then. It doesn't seem like they ever made it to that counseling session because as Darcy sent us a message, she went fucking ham and cheese on Twitter saying that Monica doesn't make her car payments. I mean, with their relationship, I understand why people go no contact. Like some at some point you're just like, you know what, maybe we just cut our losses and we we part just, ways here. Listen, I think it's gross that the mom is like doing all this, but I just think to myself, what does it say about you that your own mom would go in on you on Twitter? Like that, Mm -hmm. I don't know if that says more about the mom or her. There's a lot we obviously don't know. People are kind of one-sided. When I posted like Team LD or Team Monica, people are all like, Team, get them both off the show. (laughs) But she's good TV. Like she's not getting off the show. No, I think- And I don't want her to. I don't like her, but I don't want her off. I think in terms of like a first season housewife, like Monica's- She's doing it. Doing, she's bringing it. For sure. And we haven't even gotten all that she can bring. Like, I want to know why you were fucking your brother-in-law for 18 and a half months. Like, tell Andy's me. Andy's going to ask it at the reunion. He's got to. Yeah. Amanda, send that question in. Send that to question Andy. in, Amanda. I'll send that one in. At Andy, why you do that. Remember when that used to be his handle? <laughs> all the watch what happens ever, like, at Andy, why you do that. <laughs> now it's just at Andy. Or at Bravo Andy or something. <laughs> um. Okay, so Heather does her Bad Mormon event and Lisa introduced her and like rapped i didn't really understand that it was it weird was unnecessary but i will say the best part of that was meredith and angie trying to converse meredith is just so like disgusted by angie it's like comical honestly meredith is a robot like <laughs> you have a great day <laughs> okay <laughs> well when she, she was talking to monica and just like not saying anything but just like tilting her head and like shaking it and opening up her mm-hmm. eyes real wide i'm like oh what is going on are you gonna listen to their podcast oh my Isn't god that? that was like reminded me of me like trying to like set anything up on this podcast i have zero <laughs> electronic ability i know it's like you're an 80 year old trapped in like a 30 something body like you're you have no tech boomer. skills <laughs> It's so funny. I'm like a boomer. I am. You're a boomer. I'm like, don't ask me to edit this because it's not happening. Darcy's like going away. We She's don't. like, can somebody edit? I'm like, I would be afraid you. to ask you. I could teach you. I could teach you. It's but really not hard, actually. Somebody, somebody FaceTime me to turn the, to update my Chrome. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Oh, um, man, anything though. else on Salt Lake? I'm looking forward to figuring out what happens on their cast trip. I know. Bermuda, here we come. Mm-hmm. Okay. Winterhausen. What do we think? I can't stand Danielle. I think she's so oh. fucking annoying. Wow. I want to. I can't. Wow. She's wow. so annoying. She oh. is like such a pick me trying to be cool girl. And it's just irritating the F out of me. Like mm. you're so annoying. You. Yeah, mm. I'm done. I'm done with her. I like Danielle. 
And I'm glad that we're getting exposed to her, like, minus Lindsay. It's nice to... Like, no, I'm getting way too is. much Danielle in my life. I can't. Wow. I mean, she's fucking nuts. Like, at baseline, like, she's just fucking nuts. So, like... I feel like she just went through a breakup and she's, like, just trying to figure out who she is. Single. I don't know. I still leave have her, my... Leave the bitch alone. Leave the bitch alone. Oh, I yeah, enjoy I like watching her. her. I don't dislike her, but I think she's fucking crazy. <laughs> I, I love when we not, disagree on something. It's it not so even, happy. like... <laughs> It's not even like I don't care that she's like doing whatever she wants to do. It's just like her personality is like annoying to me. Like I find her obnoxious. Like okay. her dancing and like just the trash shot. Was I mean, I wasn't really even gross. mad about that. Like whatever, you're weird for taking that. Like you're that a me girl. Just like her whole like vibe. I don't like her vibe. She has nice hair. And she she has, has great hair. hair. She has like great hair. It's not for me. I, I don't like her like style. She like wore a style. handkerchief around her neck the other day. It's like her. Not thing, a fan. Though. It's her. Not job. a fan. She's like. Yeah, I don't like her vibe. Boho, Lucy Goosey. Yeah. Cowboy hat. I mean, she's dressing very Steamboat Springs chic. For sure. Yeah. Okay, so Amanda shows up, but she's like sick and barely does anything. And is like, she doesn't want to be there. She clearly doesn't does want to be there. Exactly. She yeah. doesn't want to be there. She's like, my actual friends aren't here. Yeah. I don't want to be here. I don't blame her. And so Danielle and Alex hook up again, and then he like and continues to flirt with Jordan, which makes Danielle very jelly belly. I can't. I thought him. He's I so think she did kind of play it cool. I thought she did a good job of that. Mm-hmm. Because she I was just love probably like, more hurt. Cut over to like him and Jordan talking, and then you see like Danielle like side eyeing, trying to like watch what's going on. I died in the beginning. What did Jordan say? It was about Corey. She's like. The vagina has spoken, and she says, we're not doing this, so I gotta follow the leader. (laughs) That was funny. Jordan's great. That was funny. Um, Katie really seems to want shorts, which is kind of weird. I think if you've never watched Vanderpump and you don't know him, that, like, aw shucks, finger in my mouth, ooh, boy. Yeah. He does that so much, it's so annoying. I'm like, why are your fingers in your mouth? You're not a baby. (laughs) Fingers in my mouth, I'm nervous. Fingers in my mouth, I'm nervous. Fuck you, dog. Uh, well, we had a lot of, like, they all have to do their own, like, events, right? Okay, we went horseback riding and dune buggying, and now we go to Bollywood dinner where Brian's mom, Dharma, is more a part of the dinner than Brian. And it was cute. Everyone was dressed up. Okay, Amanda, Until... tell your favorite part. <laughs> tell your favorite part about Corey when he says, um... When Danielle's like, have you talked to Casey yet? And Corey's like, no, I'm going to do it at dinner in front of everybody. I die. <laughs> oh. Tis the season. It was good, though. And she was, like, terrified. She's like, I don't, maybe I, I did do it. It didn't lead to the chaotic dinner that I was hoping for. No, because she was she so was scared. Terrified. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Sure. She, she shouldn't be calling someone trash. I think it, too. Like, it was she doesn't know. like a legit apology. More than yeah. we've seen on a lot of these Bravo shows. Like, I think she was terrified, honestly. I mean, it's scary to get called out on your bullshit. Yeah. But you're on reality TV. But she's I feel like you should season, be aggressive. So she, like, doesn't. And she's she, also a weirdo. I don't think she's doing a season two. I don't want to see her again. I, I thought she'd like be great, just, but she's not. They bring in, like, a replaceable blonde. I know. They're like, every okay. Every few seasons. Ec- blonde extra. <laughs> Posting for Blonde Extra for Winter House. Okay, got one. The other Jessica at least brought more drama. She yeah. was annoying. Okay, then Riley shows up in her gross little flip-flops in her Mm-mm. dirty van. Mm-mm. I don't need Riley. I don't Mm-mm. like her on Below Deck, and I don't need her here. Like, she, her and Malia can both go. Just wear Riley. appropriate footwear, honestly. That was weird. That Very. was weird. And she's just, like, com- and, like she's, like, toting a knife in her side pocket like what are you doing that was crazy it's so weird <laughs> so weird and there you have it next week jason what's his name we always get it wrong jason, jason cameron. cameron who jason is jason cameron from... not tyler cameron and not <laughs> james, james cameron, cameron. not he's james cameron down. he's from rochester oh really yeah I didn't know that. Uh-huh. well we did get us we did get him also on potomac with giselle yeah yeah that's um, weird. That's a made-for-TV. 
Andy was asking today that if there were to be a Winter House reunion, what would you want to know? So don't know if they're teasing that that's coming or... I feel like it's hard to have a reunion for a show that only tapes for like 10 days. Yeah. It's like, what can you reune, you know? There's not like a summer's worth of drama or a season's worth of drama. I think that's why they don't really do it. But I, w- I wouldn't mind like a 30-minute watch what happens live. All right. Last night we had Beverly Hills and Miami. Which one do you want to talk about first? You Beverly Hills. Okay. Name it. Name them. Name them. Yeah. I want to punch that little like bitch in her face. I have never disliked Sutton. I've always enjoyed her. I think she's a little nutty, but she's like my brand of nutty. She's never bothered me. I think there's something wrong with her I this know. season. Yeah. Like... Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Something ain't Something's right. Something's off. Something ain't right. And it's not just this season, as Kyle pointed out. We'll get there. So we start off by her and her and Garcelle are in the gondola, and I'm we were both dying Screaming. because I made Darcy go on the gondola at the Venetian when we were at BravoCon. So I, yes. I posted a picture of both of us on it, and Garcelle it, and Sutton. It was very romantic. It was very um, romantic. And nobody called me your mom. So all in all, a really good trip. That happened one time. We went to the Toys R Us Ferris wheel in New York City, and this little kid on the ride thought Darcy was my mom. <laughs> so that felt good. It was when we were me. visiting you, Amanda. We stayed with you that weekend. <laughs> that was a good time. It felt not great. That was a good weekend. That was a good weekend. We don't need to talk about it any more than that, though. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Your roommate still hates me. <laughs> I lost my glasses. You had to I mail them back to me. Back to I lost my pride having sex <laughs> in Amanda's living room, <laughs> in an open living room. <laughs> and her roommate still hates me. She was so rude. Not so well. <laughs> she was rude before that, to be fair. I knew her before that, too. Anyhow. Um, okay, so they do some kind of weird, like, country bull riding thing at Gillies. Remember Gillies? We pa- it's at Treasure Island. We used- we passed it, like, every time we were making that U-turn near the mm-hmm. Palazzo. Um, I literally, when um, Sutton was on the bull, I thought that she was going to, like, break one of her frail little bones. Same. I okay. thought one of those little legs was going to snap in half so I could laugh. I, I, like, the rest of the episode was, like, annoying me. But there's a couple things I wanted to point out. One, Kyle saying, like, do I look like the type of girl that's just going to be, like, eh, just don't let me find out about you cheating yeah you do bitch yes that's exactly what you look yes. like yes you I do say one more thing about kyle like the mm-hmm. whole not drinking thing like i if you guys don't want to drink that's fine i whatever but we don't have to make it our entire personality like i'm not drinking i'm not it's like all she wants to fucking talk about like i don't care great you're not drinking move on please oh do you have a non-alcoholic beverage shut the fuck up Kyle, with your not drinking, you're annoying. <laughs> Just get a water and shut up. I know. Give me a diet coke and move on. You know what? Morris doesn't drink. She can I have a diet coke? That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. So annoying. So anyway. annoying. Um, that's annoying. There's a lot of consensus on the internet that like they think that Erica staged her friends coming up the elevator just to say that. Do you guys think that? I mean, Erica said it. It was God. That was God intervening and sending them down that elevator and opening up those doors. So he does, Carpe like, diem. He does she work in mysterious ways. Amazing producing, Erica. Amazing. It was funny. I thought it was funny. I mean, she didn't really go too crazy. She was just like, you can apologize now. She yeah. said their show it was kidding. very <laughs> tame by Erica standards. I agree. Yeah. But okay, so like the whole van thing, like literally it was like team the collective versus Sutton, and I thought it was funny. Because she is crazy. And, like, she does lose her shit on a regular basis. Okay, so let's get into the name um name um Because I literally oh almost strangled her. So Kyle goes to her house. And Kyle, like, she's trying to talk to her. But basically, like, you could tell that Sutton was already annoyed and doesn't think she's a good friend. She never backs her up. Blah, blah, blah. And then Kyle's like, you lose your shit over ridiculous things on a regular basis. And mm-hmm. name them. Name them. Name them. Name them. Name them. Then she goes, <laughs> name them. I was watching some, uh, or I was looking on Instagram, and somebody literally, like, named all of the stuff. Your ugly leather pants. She, she named, like, a bunch of different things that Sutton lost her shit over. It was so funny. When we that. said it last week. I'm like, your ugly leather pants. She lost her shit over the whole thing in freaking Salt and Tahoe. Like, she's crazy. She's it's crazy. Loose cannon. This whole conversation, name them, name them, name them. Like, that's it. I <laughs> think, like, I don't know. She seemed a little... Little tipsy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, do you I think, she's drinking I think she's mean to her. People assistant. are saying I don't that, like that too online. People are saying that. People are saying one, she's trying to make her assistant a storyline, and yeah. they're also saying they think she's um, drinking. Somebody Happily. said, somebody tweeted, or somebody said on a, somewhere that she carries vodka around in her. Always watch what happens live. Okay. Who said okay. it? I told I you guys remember. that. You told us? Okay. Yeah, I can't remember who said it now. Was it Rena? No, it was on Watch What no. Happens Live recently. Yeah. Someone was like, she shouldn't that. be talking when she carries vodka in her purse every yeah. day. It was like not someone. It was, was Teddy. It, John it was John oh, Mellencamp's oh, daughter. Of course. John oh, sorry. Mellencamp's it was John Mellencamp's grandchildren's mother. Mother. John Mellencamp's son-in-law's wife. <laughs> I die. Ah. I hate that stupid bitch. Oh my god. god. Okay. (laughs) Let's talk about Miami, shall we? Oh my god. Larsa really pissed me off. And I'm like, I don't hate Larsa. I think she's nuts, but she's like Summer was pissed as well. Summer's pissed. That's kind of who Larsa is though. Like she doesn't do emotional. Like she that's who she is. I don't know why Gertie would have expected that this is the person I should go to with my like vulnerable news. Like that was actually not smart on Gertie's part. Side note of like wildly entertaining is that Larsa is so pumped up of filler and Botox. Like there is no movement on her face. She's like, <laughs> Gertie, I'm so upset. <laughs> Nothing moves. Like it's, I was like, what the fuck? She like doesn't, if, oh my God, if you just look at her from seasons like one, two, three, like she just doesn't even look like the same. It's no. really bad. Her nose. It, I mean, she doesn't look bad. She doesn't look great. Like, I have, like, a really large TV, so she looks really bad on it because I could see so much of, like, her, like, kind of cratered in filler. Mm-hmm. Like, it's bad. Bad filler job. But anyways, just... so Gertie tells Larsa she has cancer and then says not to say anything. And Larsa goes and tells everyone. And I have seen previews for the rest of the season. And basically, Larsa was like, I was just shocked. I wasn't listening to you say, like, don't tell anyone. Like, and I, she wasn't doing it maliciously, but I get, like, that's someone's personal. Oh, you, nobody should have to tell you to keep yeah. that to yourself. Exactly. Yeah. That's like, and, it, like yeah. and she did it while filming. So, like, yeah. she did it with the expl- Fuck that. Fuck yeah, that. That's really aggressive. I was, that's the part that pissed me off the most. Yeah. Was, like, she went around and told her. Everyone, her business. She did. Like, even yeah. like people that I don't even know who they were. Like, yeah. Why did you tell them? Everyone. I mean, At I'm first, I was like, okay, she just Nancy. told people we, that we like don't even know because like those are her friends. Fine, but yeah, you know, then exactly. she told everyone else. Yeah. So Todd comes in hot and basically like I didn't come to the party because fuck Adriana. So that was interesting. Yeah. So that means Adriana didn't made up that whole story about Todd saying that there's something wrong. I told you marriage. she's a liar. She is a liar. Liar. Um. Lisa needs to stop talking about Lenny. Like, she needs to stop. That guy's going to leave her if she doesn't stop. The poor kids are downstairs feeding themselves. <laughs> the guy went, like, the kid the went to the door to get pizza. No, I'm like, do not answer that door. And then she pizza like shamed him. Or something, though. <laughs> she pizza shamed him. I know. She's like, no more pizza. Let me tell you, if I could get my kid to eat anything, I would be like, please, more. Please. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. She needs to stop. I like Jody though, and I like her and Jody. Mm-hmm. I hope she doesn't fuck it up. I Jody like that she's being so smart, chill. and she's like, "I'm going to get my own place, and like, hopefully, it works out." And she's not just like jumping in with yeah. him. Okay, Julia is like practicing opera singing. I know there's like a scene where she sings to like Martina in the end, but I'm just like, "What is going on here? Like, why is this <laughs> happening?" And then I do have to say this one thing about Doctor Nicole and Anthony. They are very rich, honey. They are very rich. <laughs> Nene Leaks. Picture Nene Leaks saying that. Oh, God, I miss her. I am very, very rich. rich. <laughs> they are very rich. Good for them. Good for them. She should really marry Miami. him. I only got yeah. halfway through when I fell asleep. Oh, they went to buy a yacht, an $8 million yacht. They didn't they like any of them because they were too Miami. Yeah, it's too bachelor. Oh. I'm like, yeah. okay. And they're in their, like, Fisher Island condo. Is they, are they in Fisher Island or Star Island? I can't remember what she said. But if they're in Fisher, Fisher Island, Island. She didn't say Star Island. Fisher Island is a pain in the ass. You have to take a ferry on and off it every day. You don't. You can't just, like, get there. I mean, unless you have a boat or your charter or something hmm. that will bring you there. If you, like, want to drive your car, though, you need to ferry on and off every single day. It has its own That's... school in Publix. Oh, wow. The grocery store. Interesting. It is really cool. It's super, too, super teeny. It's like, it's just got like those, it's like a high rise community. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. It's like very teeny tiny. You can only really see it if you're going out of like the port, like on a cruise ship or something. 
Very cool. Mm -hmm. I learn something new every day. Lisa's house, you can see when you like jet ski around it. I've seen it Hmm. before. Yeah, I've seen the Gorgas Beach House multiple times. (laughs) In Tom's oh, River. Tell everyone Tom's what else. River. Tell everyone what else you went to see. Who else did I go and see? Food of Tile. Oh yeah, I went to Food of Tile. I was like, God, I'm 17, and I told my husband, I'm like, slow down. I need to take a picture of Food of Tile. He's I like, died. I know where it is. I Food of Tile and the Gorgas Beach House. That's the same <laughs> as Star Island and Fisher Island. You're right. Mm-hmm. I was about 17. Slow down, I baby. Die. Oh my gosh. What I do. I gotta do. I I do what I do. Well, lots and lots of shows. Um, Next week, we're going to come to you a little early. We will have an episode for y'all on Wednesday because it's Thanksgiving week and we love you all, but not enough to give up eating on Thanksgiving. Nope. Nope. We'll have an episode for y'all on Wednesday so you can play that while you're cooking your Thanksgiving meals, baking your pies. Anything else, ladies? Anything Bravo related, Bravo adjacent? Oh, Special Forces. I didn't tell you about that, but Tom's still there. He's still there. He's still there. There's only like six people left and he's still there. Yeah. He's He's doing good, too. He is doing good. He's not Bravo adjacent, Scandaval related. So Ariana commented on somebody's Instagram that was basically saying like, Oh, I saw that. She won't be surprised if the pendulum swings against her with this upcoming Someone season. Someone said season 11, we're all going to like love Tom again. And she said, I wouldn't be surprised, basically. So. Interessante. Uh-huh. All right. Well, if you like what you heard here, follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. You can follow us on our socials. We post a lot of funny memes and polls. We love to get messages from our listeners. I love blind items so please send all your blinds to us at bougie bravo bitches on tiktok at bougie bravo bitches on the reds at bougie bravo bitches on twitter slash x at bougie bravo bees we have a facebook group and we also have a youtube channel that's it bitch